Alrighty, we are back playing some more ME2. Uh, in the last episode, I believe we did Garrus' loyalty mission. And today, who knows what we're going to do. Uh, let me just check the journal, because it's been a while. Um, so, still available, we have got Tally's loyalty mission, Samara's, uh, Kasumi's, Miranda's, Jacob's, and obviously we've got the final mission. Um, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think I've still got some stuff to wrap up on the Normandy. Um, yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah. So I will go and wrap up the stuff on the Normandy, and then I think we'll jump in to Kasumi's loyalty mission, because if I remember rightly, um, it's not that difficult. And I don't think it's as long as Tally's or Samara's. And there's a bit of combat in it. So we'll do that. I want to wait uh, and do Miranda's and Tally's loyalty missions a lot later in the game uh, because just I need to make sure I've got my Paragon at an all time high before doing that and if you've played the game before you will know why. Anyway, let's head back to the Normandy. Let's get off the Citadel, I think we're done here. So let's go. But yeah, I do like to make sure that my Paragon is fairly high uh, before doing Miranda's Law to Mission and Tally's Law to Mission. Um, it's really because of conflicts that appear later in the game, and it requires you to pick a side, so I would rather just make sure I'm going to be a nice guy and resolve it peacefully without losing the Law to any squad members, because that would suck. Um, unread messages, do I have any? An important request. Okay. Probably not going to do that. Commander, you've received a new message at your private time. I just read it. Okay, I am going to go and see. Now, Morton's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting. With Didn't you. actually mean to talk to her. I want to go talk to Garrus really quickly. Uh, because he has got something that I need. Basically, you've got to upgrade your ship, and Garrus has got one of the upgrades. But I need to make sure I've got them all, otherwise, your crew will die. And I am going for the achievement of actually not having all my squad killed. Anyway, let's talk to this guy really quickly first, because I need to deliver the ingredients. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here. Try a bite. He just eats it out of his hand like that. Truth Dude. told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Okay. Right, Garrus, Garrus, Garrus. Let's see if you got anything to say after the loyalty mission. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah into Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. 
good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Alright then. One second. Sure. Need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay, ship enhancements. The Thanix cannon that I don't have enough for. Um, yeah, we definitely need that. Definitely, definitely. Um, hey, why not just get that? Heavy weapon ammo. And we've unlocked the Thanix cannon anyway, I can get that any time. Rupert! Something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Okay, since we did Thane's Lord to mission last, uh, before Garrus's, uh, let's go and quickly talk to him. Something. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. I've had, 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 had this conversation before. Since I was six years old. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch. He dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if I did that conversation before. Never mind. Um, what do we have in here? There's Kasumi. She doesn't really say anything. Hey, got a minute? I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. Zaid's strolling around like he owns the place, but he seems a little confused. Twenty years of seeking revenge, and now it's over. Okay. Right. Let's go to the CIC and uh, let's do a mission. Why not? No messages for you, Commander. Okay. Oh, I can't remember if. 
when I go to Liara, you know where Liara is on the uh, map? I don't know if you can go and get the uh, minerals and shit from her. Let's go there, just see if we can get anything. Hopefully there's some iridium that uh, Liara's had delivered. Wait, there's a mission there. Smuggled cargo. Oh, that was the mission that Aria gave us, wasn't it? Hey, let's do that on the way. Why the hell not? If it's only a side mission, it can't be very taxing. Let's do it. Okay, Grunt and Garrus. I can upgrade a tiny bit. Let's get Cryo ammo, because I actually haven't got that yet. There we go. Whoa, my Paragon's actually pretty high. Nice. Uh, Garrus can upgrade. Let's upgrade Armor Piercing Ammo. Grunt, let's get Fortification up, and we're good to go. Weapons are fine. I've made do for this far. Oh, if I remember rightly, we have to kill a lot of mechs. Let me make sure armor piercing ammo is on. Let me use my sniper rifle. Because that has got some powerful strength, I will say that. Ah, God. <coughs> It's Big explosion. Blow. Big explosion, come on. Sweet. Let's take this one down. <coughs> ah, for God's sake, it's destroying the crate. <sighs> Trying to get another big explosion. There we go. Wasn't as big as last time, but it'll do. Ah, fuck's sake, why are you doing that? Fuck you, mech. Switch weapons. Oh, that's a makeup. Cool. Is that all of them? I hope so, because it's destroying them all. Got some power cells over here. I'll collect everything before ending the mission. There we go. I only got 12 crates out of 20. That's kind of shit. Maintenance system. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, this mission wasn't very long at all. Never mind, though. Okay. A bit of element zero, not a huge amount, but there we go. Let's end the mission. Let's leave. That was a very, very short mission. Now we'll head over to uh, Liara. Didn't really get a lot for that. that. Seemed kind of pointless to be honest, but never mind. Never mind. Yeah, so the plan is get some resources from Liara. If they are there. 
This is actually the first playthrough I've done where I've actually completed the Shadow Broker DLC before um, finishing the game. Normally I finish the game then do it. It's just how it ended up being. Never mind. Right, let's go to Hagalaz. Alrighty. Liara has been standing there the entire time we've been gone. By the looks of it. Delivery pickup. Assault rifle technology. Okay. That wasn't a massive amount, but I'll take it, no problem. Liara, do you have anything to say? Thanks for coming by. Oh. You know. Whatever. I wish you had like a different story every time you came by, but no. Okay, ship enhancements. What do I need to actually get? I need platinum. I'm not too far off, so I will do all of the uh, planet scanning off screen because, to be honest, it is just boring as hell. So, um, we're not going to do that. What the hell is this? Uh, never mind. Let's go. Let's go and do something. Fight. What have we got in the journal now? We've got the Normandy crash site. We could do that. I want to do that towards the end, though. Sort of wrap everything up in a final episode. Yeah, I don't want to start any of these main loyalty missions uh, in today's episode. So I'll start them in the next episode. And in fact, we've been recording for a reasonable amount of time anyway. So, pointless episode today, guys. Um, just wrapping up a couple of side quests. Uh, but next episode, we should be more interesting. Anyway, I will see you next time.